Hey guys, welcome to Asher and Gad channel, making Africa home again, one family at a time. Trust you're all doing well, wherever you are on the four corners of this planet. Hopefully you're all making your, the gradual steps to make your dreams become a reality in the lovely continent that is Africa. All right, so here we are bringing you another video um, still uh, on the water systems that I did last week. Uh, I think I apologized for lack of videos for a long time because our consultancy is very busy. But we're back now to uh, to give you some more information to help those who are building in Ghana and those who aspire to build. So I hope this is useful for you. So today again we're on to we're still on the water systems and I have another tip for you guys. All right? But before we get on to what I have for you today, I um I saw a video a very disturbing video uh, recently uh, of a, a, a multi-story building. I think, well, I think multi-story ground and first building collapsing in Ghana. And it's not, it's not the first time uh, it's happened before. This one is a building at uh, of, of Angkor. I think, yes, I think it was at near of Angkor. I and mean, it's very, very, very sad when you consider the amount of money that goes into building a, a home. Very, very sad indeed. Um, now, obviously one can only speculate uh, I don't know all the facts, you know, I don't know all the facts at all, but um, you know, let's, let's, let me just share the video first. Watch this video guys, only a few seconds and you'll see someone's, someone's property just come crashing down. Really, really sad. <laughs> So guys, you, you, you saw that, you know, um, don't know how or the fact what made the building collapse, but it's really, really sad, you know, and uh, it just reminds us all to always make sure we use the right architects, make sure we use the right structural engineers, make sure we use the right builder, make sure we don't cut corners, make sure we use the right building materials, etc., etc. It's, it's not easy. Um, I don't know all the facts, so I can't comment on um, why the building collapsed. But it's just, it just, it just, it's just a really sad, sad, sad event. And um, one that serves as a reminder to the rest of us who are building or planning to build, just to make sure we follow the correct correct procedures for all aspects of the building for everything for the electricals for the water system for everything okay and that brings me on to again a reminder that we are now offering a turnkey solution we are offering a turnkey MEP design and installation solution so we design the electrical systems for you we design the water systems for you both hot and cold water <clears throat> if you if we have your architectural drawings and PDFs we can consult with you, do your design and recommend and provide you or recommend the correct artisans so far as the electricians and the plumbers are concerned to make sure that your installation is done perfectly. Okay. And even if you are at a point where um, you've, already, you've gone too far, you already have your artisans and you, you, you've already installed a lot of this stuff, Asher and Gad are more than happy. You can, you can, you can, you can um, instruct us to go and survey and inspect your existing installation because we've done that for a number of clients also and we can provide you with comments detailed comments in a report format or on whatsapp whatever it is that you choose that can help to inform you if your building is being installed correctly mep wise no matter what stage you are in you can so if you have your own artisans we can come at the beginning we can come at the midpoint and we come towards the end where you're having commissioning and and, and, a, and final ha handover just to make sure that you're getting what is correct for, for example we did one recently for a client in, in, in kumasi and the electrical wasn't too bad to be honest it, 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 it was only really first fixed i'll give the electrical about seven over ten but the plumbing was was awful the plumbing was, was three over ten a few examples of what we found number one the plumber was using PVC pipes for the hot water. You do not use PVC pipes for hot water. Okay. You either use copper or the green PPR pipes. 
the green PPR pipes of water I'm showing you a picture on your screen. That is what you should really use for both the hot and cold water supplies in your home in Ghana. Now, copper, not even copper. Copper was used a lot previously and one or two homes are still using copper, but I wouldn't even recommend copper because the joints are a bit tricky. Some, some, sometimes the plumbers, they tighten the joints, they, 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 don't, they don't tighten the joints well enough. So what happens? You tend to get leaks. So I wouldn't even recommend the copper. Okay, and it's harder to install. The PPR pipes are the best. The green pipes, the joints are welded together and you're unlikely to have leaks. Okay, so PP, that, that, that was one example. Another example was where, um, you know, th this particular client had water heaters in each bathroom and the plumber had installed the water heater right above the, the bathtub or the shower, which is, which, is, which is crazy. Not great for two reasons. One, you have electricity and water right close to each other. Anything can happen. A father and his son died not too long ago. A father and his son died not too long ago in Ghana because of that same reason. Number two, you've got the heater above the bathtub. If for any reason the flexible tube, you know, burst or whatever, you have scorching hot water coming straight down onto the person. So these are a couple of examples which we picked up early enough and the client can, can get the artisan to correct that. Okay, so hopefully that was, that was useful, all right? But you know, well, let's, just, let's just take a quick break before I come back with today's topic. See you soon. Are you looking to build your dream home in Ghana? Or are you building already? Would you benefit from regular site visits to monitor your building and receive regular progress reports? Well, if that's the case, and that's you, look no further, Asher and Gag Consultancy at your service. We offer the following services, electrical design, construction monitoring inspections, site progress reports, consultation for all items MEP, witnessing of testing and commissioning, periodic snagging, vetting of specialist subcontractors. We also report site activities to you to hopefully help you spend your money efficiently and much, much more. Get in contact for your building needs, details on the screen, Asher and Gag Consultancy, Make Making Africa home again, one family at a time. Welcome back, guys. As you know, water is very important. Uh, this, this video continues our water series. You know, you can you can live without electricity for a short while or even a long while, uh, but you cannot live without water. Water is essential, hundred percent essential for having a bath, cooking, you know, irrigation, what have you. Okay, so. You know, I want to share with you one one particular item that was quite annoying, uh, has been annoying over the, over the past year and a half, and we found a solution, the right solution. I want to recommend it to people out there so they, 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 they get the right thing to start with. So most of you have known, those who have been our subscribers for a while, that you know we've invested a lot into our water system, a lot, really, really a lot. Um, and uh, but it's all working perfectly now all our pumps are automatic all our valves are automatic all our filtration system is automatic we don't have to do anything you know the the, the, the dead issue of blocking the taps has all gone away very very minimal now because we have invested a lot done the right thing and everything works like clockwork automatic without taking any any of my time really one thing that i want to talk about today that kept on failing over the past over the past 12 months this particular item has failed twice okay and that is the copper ball valve okay the typical copper valve valve the, the typical copper ball valve sorry picture on your screen uh, these are the typical ones it's, it's, an, it's, an, it's an orange ball with a copper pipe uh, at the end of it now they cost about I think the last my body maybe 160 200 cities something like that okay and it's used within the water tank uh, where you have an automatic pump filling the water tank so that when the tank is full it's a ball valve it, it, it stops it signifies the pumps it signals the pump that the, the tank is full and therefore the pump stops running so you use that where you have an automatic pump but the problem is depending on the quality of water you have in your house in your area this the copper element of this ball valve will rust okay and we've we've had to change this copper valve over the past 12 months at least twice at least twice and it just completely ruins you got it it stops working the other the automatic system stops working it can't sh you can't shut it off and you sort of chuck it away in the bin so after the second time i just had enough 
and I had to uh, find a solution because wherever there's a problem, there is always, always a solution. It all depends on whether you can, whether you like the solution or whether you can afford and whether you can afford the solution. Okay. And that solution was to go for a plastic type automatic water shut off valve. Okay. I'm showing you some pictures on your screen of, of what it looks like, uh, what the box looks like. Uh, and you know what? We've installed it for the past six months. No, about maybe, about, maybe about eight months now, I think. Yeah, eight, six to eight months. And it's been absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. Doesn't, doesn't corrode, doesn't rust, obviously. It's plastic. Okay. Shuts off the, the automatic pr pumps promptly. And it's really, 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 really good. Okay. I cannot, um, I cannot um, recommend it more. I cannot, I cannot recommend it enough. This is what you need. Don't bother with the copper ball valve. Don't bother with that. Go for the plastic automatic water valve and this type. Okay. The cost obviously is, is more expensive, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not bad. Uh, the last time I bought it was about 460 Ghana cities. Okay. That's 460 Ghana cities, which is probably between 35 and $40. Okay. And we have three, we have three tanks in our home. So we bought one for each tank because everything is now completely automatic and perfectly working, no issues. You know, pressure is great in the home. Sediment filters working perfectly. Everything is, it, 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 it is working automatically and spot on. As I said, the water system is very important to us. So I, I made sure that the design had all the pumps in the right location or the right, all the right ratings of the pumps so that when I'm having a shower, I can have the right pressure because I mean everybody is diff different. But I'll, when I'm having a shower, water is is, is is kind of therapeutic to me when I'm in a bath, and I really want to have the right pressure. I hate having a shower and the water is trickling. That's just me. So the pressure was very, very, very important to me. Uh, another thing I want to talk about is uh, yeah the water pumps and the rating, the electrical rating of the pump. Typically, you know, you'd have one or one and a half horsepower. Okay, the our borehole pump, which is about a hundred meters in the ground, is about it's a, I think it's about one and a half horsepower. Then the ones on the surface are about one horsepower each, or throughout. And the hot water one, which pumps which pumps the hot water down, that one is the only one that's about I think that's 0 0.5, half a horsepower, and it still gives enough pressure, and it, it, it's it's perfect. Where you have where you are building a house. In the olden days, people still do. I say olden days, people still do it. They tend to build separate structures for the water tank. Okay? Especially where they cannot put the water tank on the roof itself. Because maybe it's a sloping roof and they haven't allowed a level surface where you can put the, the, the tank on the, on the roof. Please plan from day one. There's no point in spending extra money putting a vertical structure up when you can put the roof water tank on your roof. Even if it's a sloping roofing sheet type of roof, you can create a, a, a plain horizontal surface somewhere to mount the tank on. Don't spend extra money building a separate vertical structure. Okay. So make sure you have that in your plans. It is important to have the water tank on the roof so that when there, when there is power out, Dumso, which as you know, happens in Ghana, you can still have water coming into the house, even though it will be at a lower pressure because there's no power unless you have a backup generator or solar system. Okay. You have water coming down to have a shower, to cook with, whatever you, even, even at a lower pressure, but still have water coming down. But if you don't have a tank at high level or on your roof and it's on the ground, guess what? You will have, you have no water whatsoever when the power goes off because nothing, because you need power to pump it up and back down again. All right. So that's another tip of the day. Okay. So guys, this is a, this is a, a, a very short video. I hope it's been helpful. Okay. If you have those copper, copper ball valves, I suggest you change them. Unless you, you just installed it, obviously give it six months. It's going to rust depending on the water quality in your home. Change them to the plastic automatic valve that I showed you. Uh, select your pumps accordingly. Make everything automatic. It's just, it just saves you a lot of pain. Automatic, automatic filtration. Make sure you have a tank on the roof uh, to, to, to help with the pressure when there's no power. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. As usual, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification button so you always be aware when Asher and Gad upload a new and educational video for your viewing pleasure. As usual, from, from Gad, it's Kemisia, and from me, guys, Yebeshia. See you next time.